from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories as health officials keep an eye on the rising coronavirus numbers. The government moves to slow the redevelopment of shanty towns in Abaco, apparently. Carrying out a multi-agency operation this week, it involved the police, the Defense Force, BPL, Customs and Immigration. They confiscated, among other things, generators, food supplies, personal items, and illegal contraband. A number of persons were taken into custody. There's been no official statement on the operation at this point, but the Tribune is reporting that the area was cordoned off, signs have been erected, and police are standing guard in the area. There's reaction already. It's coming from the Rights Bahamas Group, which has issued a statement saying there's no justification for what it calls the illegal invasion of homes. The latest coronavirus numbers continue to cause concern among health officials. 43 total cases reported for Wednesday spread over five islands, 27 of them in the capital, 12 in Grand Bahama, Eleuthera, Abaco, and the Berry Islands also reported confirmed cases. We're now approaching 9,500 total cases. Health officials continue to watch the hospitalization numbers. There are now 31 persons in. Four of them are in the ICU. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Earlier this week, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Pearl McMillan made this statement about political campaigns and whether they violate the emergency orders in place. Certainly our recommendations remain the same. There should not be gatherings um, that are above and beyond what, you know, has been agreed upon and uh, in the emergency orders. As well as, you know, you need to wear your mask. You need to continue to sanitize. That has the attention of the PLP, apparently. The party now ordering a review of its campaign practices. Police are looking into an apparent drug incident at Eleuthera that has left several high school students on the island sick. Reports say the students got sick after eating marijuana lace cookies. Police believe they came from the Capitol, but they're trying to determine who is responsible. Don't wear a mask in a business establishment, and it could cost you. A 30-year-old man who did that fined $250 by Magistrate Carolyn Void Evans. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny, warmer today. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 79 at Freeport, 81 in the capital, 82 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea is 2 to 4 feet. High tide now. The next low around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper. Biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, U.S. President Joe Biden takes steps to try and control gun violence in our country. That's a growing problem there. He has signed some executive orders aimed at controlling guns in the country following several events in the past couple of weeks. Residents in St. Vincent on edge, a volcano on the island is showing signs of erupting. Officials say that is imminent. South America now dealing with the spread of the coronavirus. Several countries are facing major surges, including Brazil and Peru. Vaccinations in those countries are said to be slow. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 486, SO 485, Rubis $4.85 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on Bria Sands. She's doing some good work in track and field in the U.S. There's a Chris Brown update also. The fireman is coaching in the U.S. Find out who has taken the lead at the Masters Golf Tournament after day one. Another double-double for DeAndre Ayton last night in the NBA. 18-10 and 10 against the Clippers. Not enough, though. The Suns winning streak snapped by Los Angeles. 18 points for Buddy Heal against Detroit last night, but the Kings lost at home. Playoff hopes are fading. 
and get the latest on Jazz Chisholm and the Marlins. They're off to a 1-6 and six start. They're not hitting. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.